seeing the weather absolutely bucketing it down but we can see that well, i suppose you can um i was hoping to be making a video today about the uh, magnetic loop that i'm be i'm trying to build but uh like like everything else on this planet that uh it's gone by and by or by the by um so instead i am going to uh do a video on well this right there are, as you can see i have purchased and i have purchased this this is not a, a freebie or a gift or a sent to me by anybody i went out and purchased um this beautiful uh yesu ftm 500d now this is the european version so for those of you looking in or watching from america um you'll have a completely different version you've got the r version which covers different frequencies apart from that i believe they are exactly the same so first opening oh, and we're doing this at the same time i've not opened this i literally purchased it today uh, the guy in the shop put my invoice on the inside of the case so i've not seen anything or anything yet Okay, let's uh, have a quick look inside the case. So what do we get? Well, we get obviously the manual. And this is the DE, not the DR. So uh, unlike yours then, Josh, uh, this one doesn't come with a laminated um sheet it comes with uh, just an a4 printed sheet which is not laminated so that's uh that's a shame um we do get two fuses uh they are both 15 amp fuses so that's uh not so bad um a very nice standard yesu um was it the sm85d i think what is it let's have a quick look Yep, it's the 85D um, microphone, uh, push to talk, fist mic with a, or 11, no, it's a 45, I think. Um, connector on the end of it, some uh, washers, nuts, bolts, screws, and a sticker. Uh, the obligatory microphone clip power supply with the fuses already fitted so they're obviously spare fuses and the radio itself now Ooh, right let's move that out let's put it down to one side and i'll close the lid flaps first followed by the top Okay, I'm going to need both hands for this one, I think. Oh, lovely. Look at this. Look at this. Let me just bring you down a peg or two so that we can bring this into the the fold now i've seen a couple of videos um from the states on the unboxing of this and i must be honest with you i they didn't make or give this justice the quality of the build and the uh, the quality of the materials used are actually very nice indeed and one of the things I will say, it's actually made and assembled in Japan. Made in Japan. Some of the other ones have been made in China. This is made in Japan. Cool. Look at that, I've put fingerprints on it already. How does this work? Is this an up or down? 
Oh, easy. Push down, lever comes off. Very nice. That's neat. Very neat. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, let's power it on. Anyway, right, let's um, let's turn. Let's actually remove this. Oh, that was quite nice. <laughs> and uh, let's power it on. Please enter your call sign. Okay, let's uh, let's do that. How do we do that? Ah, I see. Right. Let's do that. Some caps. You notice it's a resistive screen rather than a capacitive one uh, which means that you've got to use positive pressure and you press and hold the function key to store Ta -da! there we are get the screen in a better position um, so that we don't get so much glare And uh, I will position myself so that I can operate the, uh, the radio. Okay, let's lock some of this off. That's an annoying thing. Right, first and foremost, let's have a feel. It's a ratcheted or notched uh, VFO, um, so it's not smooth, it goes click, 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 click as it goes around, which is actually quite nice. It stops it from being accidentally nudged or hit. Um, uh, let's see how simple it is. I've not read anything about this uh, particularly, but I'm going to go. Oh, there's somebody there, look at that. Let's go to my local repeater. I notice it seems to be um, automatically in auto, in repeater mode. Um, I guess it is always automatically going down 600. Um, right, so let's go into the functions and see. Uh, we need to go to the squelch. This is actually very simple to use. I've not, like I said, I've not read anything. Um, that's in code. And we need to go to the tone for my repeater, which is 18.8. Uh, um, go back. Let's just see if it works. Ah, yeah, simplicity. Okay. I'm not sure if this is coming through, but the screen is absolutely stunning. Um, okay, let's, uh, I don't know if I can get that. See how many watts it's putting out and see what the SWR is like for this antenna. 1.6, that's not good. 44 um, watts on full power. Let's go to it. It's on medium. Twenty one watts medium M zero MSN just testing access. And let's go back again and put it on to low power. M zero MSN testing access. Yes.
Uh, good morning, Graham. Thank you very much indeed. Yes, I've, um, I'm testing uh, the new Yaesu FT500, uh, uh, which I picked up yesterday. Uh, I've just put it together today, programming it and just testing to see if it's uh, if I've got all the frequencies right. So um, could, I suppose you could give me a quick audio test, could you please? Very much. Seven three so no. Cheers. So I don't know how much of that you heard because um, I'm using a lapel mic. Um, but um, yeah, good audio report. So that's nice to know. Uh, so anyway, um, programming in repeaters is obviously very very simple. Uh, let's see what it's like for um, the C four FM. So I have a hotspot uh, which is going to be on VFOB so let's move that to the top and put it to uh, to the right frequency now if you press the uh, VFO button you can change the megahertz um, press it again and it will go back to changing kilohertz so I've got um, here we go Oh, that's amazing. Straight in. No issues. Works. Okay, so let's um, go into wires X. Hope this works. And there we are. So as you can see, we're connected to um, America Link. Have we got any other choices on this? I suppose if we press the, the search um button okay, do we make that work press there yes that's it search all and it will find any um, active lists there we go okay so we've got five on the usa and so we can go down the list and see uh, star trek i didn't know that existed that's cool hubnet 16 users at the moment and so on and so on and so forth Anyway, right, yes, yeah, so that obviously works. Um, let's go back to standard usage. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that uh, I find a little bit upsetting uh, is the fact that um, there's no programming software for the ASU at the moment, um, which is a bit of a short-sightedness as far as I'm concerned from the ASU. Um That should have been released at the same time that the, the radio was released, but... Um, there we go. Hopefully that will come in the next few days. Um, <laughs> there are a couple of competitors, um, software houses um, have already released um, some programming software. So there we are. First impressions. Um, it's a really nice radio. Um, nicely uh, presented, nicely put together. Quite solid constructions. This this tilting front, by the way, isn't really a tilting front. There's two positions, either flat or at 20 degrees. There's no in between um, the way that it works. It just, you know, you've got two positions and that is it. Um, so a rather expensive system, um, the screw mount, when you could have just changed the uh, a backing plate to change the angle, um, like uh, the Wuxin does, etc. But there we are. Um, it's... Uh, it's a nice radio. Is it worth the additional uh, money on, on the 400? Um, at this precise moment, I would say no. I may think differently in time, but at this precise moment, um, no. Uh, it's uh, above the 300 or above the uh, the six. No, it's not worth the additional money. Um, well, time will tell. Thank you. Okay, so this is uh, um, the next day. And I'm looking at uh, the radio again in, in a new light, if you like, um, with a uh, a few more bits to add. Um, now that I've had time to settle into it, uh, you've got uh, an SD card slot on the side here. Um, and uh, the radio is a little bit more, 
what can I say, user friendly than I first thought. Um, there's quite a few little things on it, which I quite like. Um, the, the, uh, cause I'm in, um, memory mode at the moment. This is actually all the different memory channels rather than the frequencies uh, either side of, of this that you can see, um, bubbling around. Uh, you've got a DX, uh, sort of like, um, I don't know, preamp, if you like here, which works reasonably nicely. Um, uh, is the radio worth the money? Um, it is worth more than what the, um, the 400 is. That's for sure. So if you keep turning it to the right, you stop at the highest. It doesn't go round and round on the uh, on the. Uh, where uh, uh, my ancestors are from. I guess 